starting last off with me because I didn't do it alone. This year, most persons will know that we have Sanctuary Festival Troop and it's a playoff of our traditions because we just felt like, not negatively, that we appreciate persons that um, put together a festival and the festival costumes. We just found that we needed um, some space to show how um, the kind of culture I grew up knowing. I grew up seeing masqueraders, clung, we don't see those anymore. So we are not traditional, but we just thought of ourselves as tradition reimagined. Um, so we brought back what we thought could be a leeway for masqueraders because persons don't want to be a masquerader or our, another generation might not understand what a masquerader is. At least we could be the middle ground. And again, we tell everybody we're not the traditional ones, but we just like to bridge a gap. And I know there's some masqueraders in here. <laughs> And also for the, the classical quadrille outfits. Again, Stanley and the Tesky Business are celebrating 50 years this year, and they're going down the road. We will always want to elevate the persons that have been holding our traditions, but again, if persons haven't seen themselves in a traditional wear, we the middle ground, so we reimagine it. But also, I didn't do it alone. Sanctuary Festival Troop has many heads, and I'll give it to my sister-in-law who's helped me on this journey to make it come alive. Because we weren't very really received well at the beginning, yeah. but now we're very well received because a lot of people in our age group didn't understand why they had to wear masks. And um, it's been a long journey for like two months just to have people <laughs> reacquainted with culture. Um, hi, good night. I'm Summer Sibley Brown, and like she said, I'm her sister-in-law and I guess partner in crime, and I'm privileged to be an ambassador for Sanctuary. Um, I think one thing we hold, both all the ambassadors hold there is, is our culture and thinking as we evolve, like in an age where the internet and all these outside forces bombard what things look like and kind of set the standard, wanting to make the standard ours. Um, Shalana is like, you know, a fashionista, a creative, um, and also very vocal about our culture and who we are and you know always exploring the question what is the current state of Christian identity maybe not for our elders but for ourselves like how do I um, as a Virgin Islander identify as a Virgin Islander and um, in a, the most inclusive and welcoming way how do I show my pride in that and because that question seems for our generation to have a question mark because there are so many other influences really trying to toy with the fact of like revolution by celebration where it is like, yes, we understand that culture evolves and the things that we used to do may not seem like commonplace anymore, but to know that they always have a place, right? They always have a place and it's our charge to keep that place. And the place can look very different and it can be reimagined, but to default to its origin and kind of pay homage to the things that our grandparents grew up doing. And because we want to pass that to my nephew, Zaya, and hopefully if Zaya has children, we want to pass it to their children. And just like looking at what our role is in inviting our generation to participate in that tradition, find our identity and be proud in it. And to be able to say, yes, it's evolving, but Sylvia Brown still there. What, what, you know, like what she recognized is still here and we're still, and we're still proud of it. So really excited at the opportunity, not just to display it going down the road, but to display it for its deepest traditional historical and art, the art that it is, because um, it is art. It is art. Actually. And um, art's a major part of how we communicate our culture, so we're just honored to be here amongst all these great artists and all these great people who choose to encourage their home. Thank you, Christian Culture. Um, yeah. <laughs>